fuel pressure test while I'm in my garage. So I have the bike set up. how it should rev right now which is confusing me uh, yeah earlier today and previously I couldn't rev past 8,000 rpm without it um, cutting off but now it seems like <laughs> to redline it but not for long uh, I know you're not supposed to do it for long anyway but the point is I'm not able to hold it up past 12,000 rpm for long it goes right back down so I'm still gonna go ahead and do this um, uh, delivery fuel delivery test uh, right now um, I have a jar already marked off with six ounces um, I use the measuring cup from inside the house to go ahead and mark that off so that that's prepared and um, I can just use it as it is. Also, I have this little uh, push button interrupter that I create that I made um, watching videos off YouTube to test to clean my fuel injectors actually. So it's coming in handy again because I'm going to use it to also uh, give my fuel pump continuous power. So I have the power, I mean, for 10 seconds. I have the positive going to the yellow and red, if you can see it, the yellow and red there. I have the positive going to it, and then per the book's instructions, I have, I'll put the black, which I just lost, um, the negative going to the black with the white tracer, so that is this one here on the bottom, so the negative will clip right onto this one, and that's that, so now I have the positive and the negative in there, just like in the manual, of course I have to take these in, this in, and connect it to my battery. Okay, I have the negative going to the negative. I have the positive going to the positive. And I have the snaking up under to my fuel pump main wire lead. I have my jar. And I'm going to go ahead and use one of the hoses that I already had attached to my fuel pump when I was doing my, uh, my pressure gauge test. I'm gonna just go ahead and use that one. It was on this end right here. And I'm gonna put that inside the jar here. And go ahead and give it a run. So we'll see. All right. Now I don't have a stopwatch. So I'm just gonna do the old 10 Mississippi type thing and count it out that way. Make sure this is totally empty by pouring the remains into a gas can. It is empty. And it says to hold it for 10 seconds. So here we go. Ah, OK. Well, it's still going. But well, the point is, even at 10 Mississippi, all right, I forgot to press the button. But the point is, I think that was just going for 15 seconds almost, and I'm, hold on. I 
forgot that my interrupter was a push, a click. I had to push it and re, um, push it back in. But even at 15 seconds, which is five seconds more than it needs to run, I'm only getting about this much fuel. So when it was at 10 seconds, I was, I was probably significantly lower than 5.7, the 5.7 mark up here. So yeah, that sucks. I don't think I'm getting the right amount of fuel. And that could be my, my problem. I'm gonna try it one more time, actually at 10 seconds. Cause I'm retarded and forgot that I had to cut the power off. I have plenty of power, um, battery power, so make sure you have that when you do this. And again, we'll try one Mississippi. We're at 10 Mississippi. Sure. 10 Mississippi and yeah, I am extremely lacking. That's not anywhere close to 5.7 ounces. So maybe I need a new fuel pump. Maybe I need a new fuel pump.